Hi, this is Tim Kendrick with Gelson Engineering. Thank you for joining me for this brief video where we're going to show you how to configure the Siemens DS3 pressure transmitter. The Siemens DS3 pressure transmitter has three magnetically coupled push buttons that sit under a lid on top of the transmitter housing. The button to the far left is the mode button which we can toggle through the 14 modes of operation of the transmitter and the buttons to the right are the span and zero adjustments. Mode 1 on the transmitter is just the actual display. Mode 2, as you see here, is where we set the zero with a pressure source applied at 4 milliamps. Mode 3 is where we set full scale with a pressure source applied. Mode 4 is the damping adjustment in the seconds, as you see. Mode 5 is where we set the zero without a pressure source applied. Mode 6 is where we would set the full scale without a pressure source applied. Mode 7 is where we would set the zero for the mounting position. You can zero the transmitter out this way by holding the uh, span and zero buttons down on the transmitter until it reads zero. Mode 8 is our loop checkout function. As you see, we can drive the transmitter to 4 milliamps, 12 milliamps, 16 milliamps, 20 milliamps, etc. Mode 9 is our low level or high level fail safe. Mode 10 is our lockout menu. We can lock the transmitter out via password. Mode 11, as you see here set up in linear, we can also make this transmitter in a square root mode by toggling the push buttons until it reads square root should you have used the transmitter for a flow application. Mode 12 is used for zero dropout if you're using the transmitter for a flow application. Mode 13 is where we'd set the units for the display. Mode 14 is where you'd set the actual pressure units. Here you see it in TOR. We can also do millibars, kilopascals, PSI. Now I'm going to show you how to program the transmitter with our Siemens Somatic PDM software. Once you load Process Device Manager software onto your PC or laptop, you'll see these menus come up and you would double click on Somatic Manager. And at that point, you can go up to Options, Somatic PDM, where you'd start what they call Life List. As you can see here, I have a heart modem hooked up to the transmitter going across the 250 ohm resistor in the loop. We hit OK. We're going to go out and look for this transmitter, do a scan, and then a start. And there it finds our Gilson differential pressure demonstration transmitter out there. So I'm going to double click on this log on as a specialist of course and you choose which range transmitter you have this one happens to be a 1600 millibar so there you have it I'm, I'm logged on to the transmitter via heart protocol this is a tagging number up here which is Gilson DP that's just the name of our demonstration unit and you can see all these other variables so let's say we want to go in here and change this from millibars to PSI do that, make that change. And at that point, I'm going to download it to the device. See, it's writing to the device now. Okay, so now it's that complete. Here's where you can change the lower value or the upper value. Show you some of the other menus in here. There you saw the damping adjustment right here. And there you have it. Uh, should you have any further questions as far as programming the 
Siemens DS3 pressure transmitter goes, please feel free to contact us at our home office at area code 412-369-0100 or you can visit us on our website www.gilsoneng.com. Thanks for watching.